Hey guys, Jen Cravasi, Jekyll Bates, and this is your workshop update. Today is Wednesday. I think it's the middle of the month. Uh, I have a calendar, but it's from last year, so I'm not even going to guess on the date. Maybe the 17th or 18th, somewhere in there. But we're going to get right into it. I've got a few pieces that I want to show you. First and foremost, I've got four contenders here. These guys are the Guggen Squad contenders. They are going to be involved in a limited engagement with uh, some really cool custom Jekyll colorways. So this is the Trophy Trout. Really pretty. Super excited about the way these guys came out. Nice and shiny. Uh, even got the tails in on this one. And these are hand painted. Um, they're going to be involved in some limited run engagements here coming up in the next couple of months or so. This is the Common Carp. I kind of got a little bit of Red Horse in this as well. Just a nice red on the throat. It's a little bit of red on the tail and a really good common carp pattern. A little gold on the belly and into bone. So this is the bone belly carp. We have got the shimmer shad, which I've gotten so much really positive response on this particular pattern. Um, super excited to introduce it on a contender. Very pretty. Lots of chrome and pop in that little black tip on the scales and the cobra koi reimagined cobra koi got some custom red eyes on there this is all hand painted hand detailed and outstanding spring baits all four coming to a lineup real soon um that's all i'm going to say about them right now it's all i kind of can say about them uh, i've got a massive order sitting in my garage as we speak so super excited to partner again with catchco and the Guggen Squad on this one. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys. Um, looking forward to spraying some really, really cool stuff. So that's going to be coming down the pipe pretty quick. I've also got uh, some really cool baby bull shads that we've been working on. This is that Army Green gill with a little bit of accenting for spring and spawn. All of these colors that I'm showing you are going to be fantastic on the spawn. I got a bunch of these. So these are kind of, okay, I don't, a lot of folks are starting to call these pumpkin seeds. They are not. Um, these are the long ear um, green. They could also partner as a green sunfish, but this particular pattern is not a traditional pumpkin seed. I, if I've ever called it a pumpkin seed, I apologize. I think that's part of why we're getting so confused on some of these patterns but this is a hand painted baby bullgill and it is in my long ear slash green sort of pattern not a pumpkin seed but a lot of you guys call them pumpkin seeds just that's cool and you can call them what you want i understand this is that profile sh um carp almost called it a shad there's been a lot of shad lately um this is a nighttime color shift profile carp all hand detailed chrome on uh, on the mirrors basically the mirror scales and then all of that is hand detailing to accent those scales on the mirror carp some smaller baby bull shad these trophy trouts are also going out we've got a lot of stuff going out today um, in the winter time there's a lot of things that affect my ability to spray properly and clear coat properly, primarily humidity, lack of humidity, and cold weather. So our shop is heated in the front out here that way into the storefront, but uh, back in the main part of the shop and upstairs, it can be a little bit of a beast to, um, to maintain. So we do the very best we can, and we try to make sure those things happen on days that are where, where it's not going to get all wonky. So... Unfortunately, Mother Nature plays havoc with clear coats and paints and even resin pouring. Um, humidity is always a factor there as well. But just some cool patterns. I've got some breeding crappie. That beautiful color shift purple to blue. Now you see it, now you don't type deal. Really loving that pattern as well. A little bit of blush on the throat. 
just wanted to give you guys a quick look at some of the brand spanking new baits that we have got going on at Bullshad. These are hot off the presses. These are the new HD Gill Glide. They are beautiful. They are tailless because obviously we don't paint and clear them with the tails on. That is a process that happens afterwards. But you can tell these just came off the rack. I wanted to give you a little bit of goodness before they go out the door. These are headed all to shows. We've got that beautiful golden New England crappie. So pretty. Shell crackers. I love doing shell crackers because I've got so many of them in my lakes and ponds around the house. So I wanted to give like a nice spring color. Not quite as loud and bold as they'll be when they go into spawn. But they are some of the most aggressive of the sunfish family. These little red ears, aka shell crackers. And then just uh, a few more real pretty views for you guys today. So that is all the news that's fit to print. Yeah, we've got some seven inch glides that are brand new to Bullshad too. Um, there is a ton of them out there. That's Don't look at that because we're getting ready to go to shows. Um, so our storefront is legit destroyed. So that's what we've got. Here is some shad goodness for you on the way out. And there's Tyler looking handsome as ever, our general manager. <laughs> and we'll see you on the next video. Cheers and happy casting from, oh yeah, there's Perch too. <laughs> These are headed somewhere else. Yeah, they're going up north, y'all. We'll see you on the show circuit. Bye.